Okay, so this section that is about the global best PSO. Yeah. Okay. Just to quickly recall what we are going to do. Yeah. In the PSO, actually, we are going to send a group of birds. We call they are particles, and then search the workspace so that so they are we they are going to they are going to fly around to collect the information, and then so when we focus on one particle or one bird, and then we are going to find the heading direction so that uh, they are going to fly through the space, and this is the initial position, and then so. Uh, the next position that would be x i t plus one, and then what we want to do, that is the distance or the velocity v i t plus one, so that we are going to update x i t plus one using this update rule. We are going to determine the v i t plus one, that is the most important information we have to collect through the local through the communication between all particles. So. This is a population-based method. It means that uh, we are going to have a group of individuals. Each individual, we call this as a particle. So as I mentioned, that each particle it contains a lot of decision variables right here. So the number of particles we use n as to denote that. So we have one, two, up to many the last one we call this is the n s yeah so that is the size of the swarm or this is the size of the population and corresponding to each particle we are going to have a cost function this cost function because we do minimization so we are going to minimize this cost so we are going to have x1 x2 up to x something yeah so when we talk about the global best position, yeah, so that is we do denote that using the y hat. It means that this is the best position found by the swarm. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to this later on. And now I'm going to determine I'm going to define the personal best position. When we talk about the personal best position, that means each particle is going to fly through the space and then so so iteration by iteration and uh, this particle will co collect different kind of information and will have this cost so that the best personal position that is the best solution found by each particle so each particle is associated with the personal best position denoted by yi and then this global best position is the best of the best the best of the best personal position, that is the y hat. I'm going to talk about this using another slide so that you will find out, you can get a better idea about that. Uh, as I mentioned many times that we are going to find the velocity, yeah, the velocity at the t plus one um, iteration. So this is the, the way for us to calculate the velocity. So associated with each particle we have a vector we call this as the velocity vector this is v1 this is v2 v3 so and so so that is something very similar to the evolution strategy in ex we have the individuals corresponding to each individual we have the evolution strategy and then this one that is very similar we have the individual associated with an individual we have the velocity so the first component that is the velocity and then the next component that is something to do with the decision variable itself as well as the personal best position this c1 that is a constant we are going to choose and then this is a control parameter r1 that is a random number in the range of 0 to 1 and then the third component right here we have c2 and uh, another constant we have to choose r2j that is in each iteration we are going to generate a random number in the range of 0 to 1 but this component it relates to the x decision variable itself as well as the global best position right here yeah 
once you once we know y i y hat as well as well as all these x right here we can compute v i j yeah so once we have v i j and then we can just simply apply this particle update rule to all the particles from particle one to particle n s and then so we can compute the position of the next particle that is this one that is x i t and then this one after we apply this update rule it will become x i t plus one okay so we use n x to denote the number of decision variable in each particle so we have x1 x2 up to x n x yeah we i the dimension is compatible with x i that means if we have n x decision variable in x we will have n x variable in v i now this is the update of the personal best position uh, again the personal best position that is the best solution we find by each particle from the first generation so what we are going to do is that in each iteration we are going to evaluate the updated x as well as the current personal best position if x i t plus one the cost is larger than or equal to the personal best cost and that we are not going to update the personal best and then so we just simply roll over this y i t to y i t plus one otherwise when the cost of x i that is less than the cost of y i we are going to update y i t plus one as x i t plus one because now we obtain a better solution for a minimization problem yeah and then we are going to update the best global best position as i mentioned before the global best position that is the best of the best personal position so to understand this mathematics expression better that is so why uh, hat t plus one the global best position which will be one of this guy yeah so after you update yeah so after you update this y i the personal best for each particle and then so we have a number of options we are going to pick the one pick the y which give you the smallest cost so for example if y1 that is the smallest cost and then y hat t plus one that is y1 so in word in english it means that we are going to pick the best personal best position yeah from the updated one right here yeah for minimization we are going to pick the one give you the minimum cost okay and now look at um the overall picture through this slide we have a number of particles right here and then now that is we have to create a swarm x1 x2 xi up to xns xns that is the population size associated with each particle x1 we have v1 x2 we have v2 they are the velocity vector yeah and then the update rule that is once we are able to compute v1 t plus one v2 t plus one so and so and then we just add this v1 t plus one to x1 t to form the position of the next particle so that means the part of the bird that is fine to another position right here yeah so this is x1 t plus one this is x t the update that is based on this equation using the current velocity and c1 c2 constant r r2 random variables y that is um um that is the y and y hat they are the personal best and the global best information and now take a look into a little bit more details 
Once we have a swarm, we know the personal best, that is the historical information, the best experience of each particle. And then for each personal best, when we expand it because it is a vector, and then we come up with yi1, yi2, yi and x, because when we are talking about the i personal best associated with the i particle, and then i it means that it it refers to the particle we are talking about. When we expand it, the second subscript that is one two up to n x that is the position in this vector. So y i one it means that the first position of the i particle, and then y i two that is the second position of the um the y i element. Yeah. Okay. And now among them, we are going to pick one to be the global best that is the one which give you the minimum value if we have more than one which give you the same minimum value and then we we can just randomly pick one okay and now let's see how do we do the update x i so when i that is one we talk about the first particle when i that is two that is the second one so i can be any one of them right here so again I that is the particle number and then the second subscript that is the position because this is a vector so x i1 that is the first position the first element in the particle i so and so we we have the same dimension the same meaning for the subscript we i1 we i2 up to we i and x and x that is the number of decision variable in the particle x i and now this is the update rule I mentioned before. Once we define the velocity v i t plus one, and then so we can just simply add it to x i t, and then we form x i t plus one. That is the next position of the i particle. Now personal best y i y one to y n x. When we pick one of the element, right, one of the y i right here, expand it. We have we can see that we have y i one y i two y i n x. From the personal best, pick the one give you the minimum cost, that is the global best. And then we have similar structure, but now we do not have i. It is because we only have one vector of the global best position, that is the best out of the personal best. So this is just one single vector. We have y hat 1, y hat 2, up to y and x. Now, this is the update rule. Say, when we talk about we i something, that means we are talking about the i velocity vector. i can is running from one to n x, so i can be any one of them. Yeah. So let's use i as the variable. Now j. Assume that j that is one. It means that we are talking about the first position of the vector. Now right here, this one, we i1 it means that we are talking about this element so all the j will become one in this case so c1 constant r11 that is a random number so y i1 it means that we are talking about this guy and then x i1 we are talking about this guy so y1 y hat one we are talking about this guy that means corresponding to all element right here we are talking about the first element if j equals one so once we know all this information we can compute we i1 that is this element so x i1 plus v i1 t plus one we come up with this guy and then we move on to the next element that is when we set j equals 2 and then all this this equation is going to talk about the second element in each vector so we are able to find out these two guys and update the second element we repeat this process we are able to find all 
x i t plus one. Yeah, so that means we are going to increase the i value or winding through the i value from one to n s. Yeah, okay. So this figure just give you some idea about how does the update happen, and then I'm going to leave that to you to look at this figure, and then so this is the pseudo code. The pseudo code initially we have to initialize the y i and as well as the y hat yeah and also the swarm yeah right here so that means in the beginning we do not have the personal best the personal best that is the x itself this is because that is up to now this is the best position found by x yeah and then out of the personal best pick the one with the best cost to to be the global best and then choose the value of c1 c2 and then um, if you wish set all the velocity to be zero in initially yeah and then now what we are going to do is just to repeat everything right here if the stopping criteria have not been met and then so we are going to repeat these two line particle by particle yeah so we will go through one two up to one to up to the last particle that is to update the velocity yeah to update the velocity of all these particle and then in this line just to update um the velocity ah uh, sorry update the particle to form x i t plus one so that means after we complete this block we already have the updated version of particle now this block that is, we are going to do the same going through from the first particle to the last particle. This block, that is, just to update the personal best. You will just see that we evaluate the cost of the updated particle xi and compare that with the personal best of the particle i. If it is smaller, we update the personal best to be the xi t plus 1. Otherwise, keep the old version. Yeah, This one that is, we are going to update the global best position. Yeah, so we just check whether to update the personal best that is less than the global best. If it is, update it. Yeah, okay, and then update the counter. Repeat this process until the stopping criteria have been met. And then this is the global best, or sometimes we call this is the G best PSO. This is the full chart. It mentioned exactly the same thing, and I'm going to leave that to you. And uh, this is just a figure to show how it works. Um, so initially, we are going to initialize the population, and then uh, now we are going to find the global minimum that is right here. And uh, so once they find, collect some information, they are going to pass the information to each other through the personal best. Uh, 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 through the global best position and then now they will collect information move in the right direction and then this group find this is the minimum the local minimum this group is more close to the global minimum so once they uh, form a group and then information is kept is kept passing and then finally they are going to find the global minimum and move around right here and the global best position would be the final solution okay so this is um, the animation showing how it works yeah in um, a workspace another example okay and now uh, i have some more example but anyway i'm going to leave that to you